Do you remember the timeless charm of the 1989 TV series, Saved by the Bell? What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? This classic show has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, captivating audiences with its relatable high school narratives and endearing characters. One of the standout actors in the series was none other than the iconic Mark Paul Dosselar, who portrayed Zach Morris, the charismatic troublemaker that many viewers adored. His charisma and wit brought a unique flavor to the show, making him a fan favorite. As we dive into the world of Saved by the Bell, join us in the comments below and share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. We would love to hear your stories and memories. So, let's reminisce and celebrate this beloved show that has stood the test of time. It's time to share your thoughts and connect with fellow fans. What's your story? Saved by the Bell, a beloved 1989 TV series, originally began as a spin-off of the earlier show, Good Morning, Miss Bliss. Set in the fictional Bayside High School in California, it followed the lives of six iconic teenagers, Zach Morris, Kelly Kapowski, A.C. Slater, Jesse Spano, Lisa Turtle, and Screech Powers, as they navigated the ups and downs of high school. Known for its light-hearted and comedic tone, the show featured quirky storylines, zany antics, and a unique breaking the fourth wall style, where characters would often speak directly to the audience. This approach allowed viewers to connect with the characters and their relatable adolescent experiences. Saved by the Bell became a cultural phenomenon, influencing fashion, teen slang, and even defining the 90 seconds teen sitcom genre. The show's enduring popularity led to various spin-offs, revivals, and made its cast into household names. It remains a nostalgic classic, reminding us all that we, too, can be saved by the bell. Saved by the bell, graduation had already been shot when the network ordered more episodes. Tiffany Thiessen and Elizabeth Berkeley were attached to other projects, so Lena Creel was cast as Tori. The Tory episodes aired in the middle of the final season to sidestep continuity problems. The storyline operated on the idea that Tori, Kelly, and Jesse were all at Bayside at the same time and had different classes and social interactions with Zack, Slater, Screech, and Lisa that never overlapped. This unique situation behind the scenes of Saved by the Bell led to the introduction of the character Tori and the creative solution to maintain continuity in the show's final season. It's a fascinating aspect of the series that showcases how the production team adapted to challenges in a beloved 1989 TV show. Mark Paul Gosselar revealed that Saved by the Bell gained its popularity through syndication. The show was canceled after each of its first five seasons, but it found a new life in reruns. This rehiring of the series allowed it to reach a wider audience and solidify its status as a beloved 1989 TV series. As a result, Saved by the Bell became a cultural phenomenon, influencing fashion, teen slang, and defining the 90 seconds teen sitcom genre. The show's enduring popularity led to various spin-offs, revivals, and made its cast into household names. It remains a nostalgic classic, reminding us all that we, too, can be saved by the bell. Slater's first name, I see, stands for Albert Clifford. This fact sheds light on one of the iconic characters from the 1989 TV series, Saved by the Bell. I see, Slater, portrayed by Mario Lopez, was known for his tough guy persona and athletic prowess at Bayside High School. The use of his initials, I see, adds an interesting layer to his character. While the series revolved around the lives of six teenagers, including Slater, it's intriguing to learn the backstory of his name. Saved by the Bell became a cultural phenomenon, and I see, Slater was a key part of the show's success. One of the interesting behind-the-scenes tidbits about the 1989 TV series Saved by the Bell is the presence of real family photos in Principal Belding's office. Among them are photos of Dennis Haskins' father and his brother, Tim. These personal touches added a unique layer of authenticity to the show, making Principal Belding's character feel more relatable. It's just one of the many details that contributed to the charm of this beloved 1989 TV series. Saved by the Bell continues to be a cultural icon, and these small touches behind the scenes help us appreciate the show even more. Saved by the Bell, the iconic 1989 TV series, holds a fascinating behind-the-scenes fact. 
According to executive producer Peter Engel, I see. Slater, portrayed by Mario Lopez, was originally intended to be a John Travolta type character. However, when casting directors couldn't find a satisfactory white actor for the role, Angel expanded the search to include Latino, Asian, and black actors. This decision ultimately led to the casting of Mario Lopez, adding a unique layer to the character and contributing to the show's success. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights into this beloved 1989 TV series. The 1989 TV series Saved by the Bell has an intriguing origin story. It began as a spin-off of Good Morning, Miss Bliss, which was set at John F. Kennedy Jr. High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, but got canceled after just 14 episodes. NBC then decided to retool the show, relocating it to Bayside High School in Pacific Palisades, California. During this transition, many characters were removed, and only Dennis Haskins, Mark Paul Dosselar, Dustin Diamond, and Lark Voorhees made the cut. Interestingly, the move to California was never explicitly explained in the series, leading to a fan theory that suggests the show might be an elaborate daydream by Zach Morris, the main character who's a bit of a slacker and often fantasizes about being a cool kid who succeeds and gets away with everything. Some fans point to the show's theme song, which they believe describes Zach's thoughts and his unique ability to do a timeout, where he temporarily stops time and breaks the fourth wall. This behind-the-scenes fact sheds light on the show's evolution and the unconventional narrative elements that contributed to its unique charm. Saved by the Bell remains a beloved 1989 TV series that continues to captivate audiences. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic show. Mark Paul Gosselar had to dye his hair blonde every two weeks while on the show. This behind-the-scenes tidbit sheds light on the dedication of the actor to maintain his character's signature look. The effort to keep his hair blonde added an interesting layer to the production of the beloved 1989 TV series, Saved by the Bell. Despite the challenges, the show continued to captivate audiences, and Gosselar's commitment to his role contributed to its success. This fact offers a glimpse into the commitment of the cast and crew in bringing the show to life. As we bid farewell to the nostalgia-filled world of the 1989 TV series, Saved by the Bell, it's time to reflect on the magic that this show wove into our lives. Whether you were a teenager living through those iconic high school years alongside Zack, Kelly, Slater, Jesse, Lisa, and Screet, or if you discovered the show later and were charmed by its timeless appeal, there's a special connection that binds us all. The halls of Bayside High were just a setting. They were a second home to many of us. We laughed with the gang, learned life lessons, and shared their ups and downs. And perhaps, the show's iconic catchphrases still echo in your memory, time out. Or I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so scared. Now, it's your turn to take a trip down memory lane. We invite you to share your favorite memories, moments, or thoughts about Saved by the Bell. Did you have a crush on Zach Morris or Kelly Kapowski? Did Slater's athletic prowess inspire you? Or did you resonate with Jess's dedication to her studies? Maybe Lisa's fashion sense made a lasting impression. Your unique connection to the show is what makes it even more special. Your memories and thoughts are like puzzle pieces in the grand mosaic of Saved by the Bell. So, drop a comment, reminisce with fellow fans, and let's celebrate this classic that will forever hold a place in our hearts. Thank you for your time and your interest in reliving the magic of Saved by the Bell. Your stories and experiences make this journey all the more meaningful. Keep those memories alive, and let's cherish the 80 seconds and 90 seconds forever.